morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I do have to be a little quiet because my roommates are still sleeping, but I just wanted to say hello, hi, welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, I'm just getting back from some morning cardio and I'm just going to be sipping on some BCAAs and uh, clean up a little bit before I eat. But to be honest, I don't really have much planned today or I don't have a specific goal set out for this vlog. Um, I think I'm just going to take you guys with me throughout the day and see what happens. My previous video I actually did like an activewear haul and to be honest it just felt a little weird. It felt very forced. It just it didn't come naturally to me. So like I said I'm just going to take you through my day and just see what happens. Right now I'm about 13 weeks out from my show and I still have to hear back from my coach but basically we may be doing a diet break. Um, so I'm gonna see what he says because my weight has been, it's been steadily dropping, but with where our variables are at now, we don't wanna be pushing me this hard. We don't wanna be pushing me too hard this far out because we, we still have plenty, plenty of time, which is, is kind of weird because I've already been dieting for like 13 weeks now and just, it doesn't feel like it. So I'm just gonna wait for his update and see what he says. And I know these are like kind of reflecting weird in, in the camera, but sometimes when I do cardio, <laughs> I like to watch videos, whether it's YouTube, like informative YouTube videos, or sometimes I'll watch Netflix and I find that it can be really draining on my eyes. So sometimes I actually just bring my blue light glasses. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up a bit and then we're gonna head to breakfast because I'm hungry. sad it's gone. Finished my breakfast and I just, I love breakfast food. I feel like I'm the type of person that can eat breakfast any time of the day, no matter what. And if you didn't see, I actually added a side of turkey bacon to my breakfast and I normally, I don't know, I was kind of skeptical on it because yes, I am doing flexible dieting and I am doing macros. And I try to stick to like as clean foods as possible. And I was kind of iffy. I was like, mm, do I want to eat turkey bacon? But then I saw the macros on the back. I was like, oh yes, we, we doing turkey bacon. Actually in my carb cycling video, I did preface by saying I wasn't going to share like my macros or calories, but I'm kind of on the fence about that now too. Um, just because I know flexible dieting is becoming more popular, but with this, not many people know how to use it or they don't know how to go about logging things or creating meals or a set meal plan with the macros that they're given. So I may not disclose my full day of eating of macros, but I may give like recipes here and there of what may be like lower in carb or, you know, a little bit lower in fat and you can play with that yourself. Um, because obviously my macros are for me. Um, I am in a bikini prep, I am getting ready for a show, so things eventually will have to get very drastic and very low in terms of food. But with that being said, I think it would be beneficial and helpful. Actually, that's the same word, Never mind. Um, I just feel like it would be more helpful for you guys if you were able to apply these recipes or be able to learn how to use macros because like I said, it is getting more popular and I guess to make the most out of your macros, it's to fill it with wholesome, just wholesome and nutrient dense food. That's what it comes down to. Like you shouldn't be filling your macros with like pizza every night or ice cream every night, which, you know, every once in a while, that's fine. But you know, doing it every single day, that's not fueling your body with the right food. Like you're not going to be performing as well. You may not even sleep as well. Your digestion is going to be off. So when it comes to the macros, like, yes, I do use flexible dieting, but I am very purposeful with it. 
Like I try to make the most out of my macros. That's what I'm trying to say. So now we're just gonna sit here and wait for our next meal. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually have to get ready for class because I'm still a college student, haven't graduated yet. Um, but while I'm waiting, I actually have a spaghetti squash that I just got yesterday and I have to make it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make spaghetti squash because it's really easy and it's a great alternative to like pasta. I just love squash in general and you can use it instead of pasta as like a lower carb option. Obviously it's not gonna taste the same, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and it's going to be very simple, very easy because I do not like complicated food situations. It's just not a good idea. So I'm gonna show you how to make it and then I'm gonna head off to class. ready for my next class and oh my goodness the weather outside is ridiculous it dropped like 10 degrees now it's rainy and it's windy and I still have to walk to class sorry I actually decided to just sit down because I may or may not ramble here I don't know how long I'm gonna be standing up so you know what I thought ahead I was like you know what we're gonna sit and then do what we got to do but like I was saying the importance of a diet break or if you do decide to implement a diet break so I like doing research when it comes to this stuff and I was watching a video by Jeff Nippard and I think that's how you say his last name Jeff Nippard but if you have never heard of him he has a lot of scientific based videos and they're very informative so I ended up watching his and a few other ones about diet breaks and I found it pretty interesting there was uh, there was a study done on I think a group of obese men but basically one group dieted straight for 16 weeks and then the other group dieted as well but they implemented two-week diet breaks so they would diet for two weeks and then bring their food back up to maintenance for two weeks diet for two weeks and then uh, go back up to maintenance for two weeks and kind of switch on and off but the diet period ended up being a little bit longer. I think it was 30 weeks compared to the 16 weeks. Um, so what they found was that they had the same exact amount of weight loss, which I thought was interesting, but the group that had the 30 week diet phase with the implemented diet breaks actually had more fat loss compared to muscle loss, which again is another key indicator of why diet breaks can be important. I mean, especially when you're trying to lean out or getting ready for a show, the goal is not just weight loss. The purpose of competing is to get as lean as possible without having to lose uh, like such amount of muscle mass. Um, so with this, the diet break actually allowed them to lose the same amount of weight, but they actually, they might have looked different or they might have looked even more shredded because again they're losing that fat compared to the muscle so i thought that was pretty interesting and you know another part of implementing diet breaks is simply so you don't stall um so you can get your hormone levels back up to maintenance or get them up regulating again before hopping back into that deficit i'm still carb cycling but the way that our refeeds are are scheduled out it's just an acute refeed so i'm only getting a refeed once once a week? Yeah, I'm only getting a refeed once a week, but so this can work temporarily or it can work for X amount of weeks, but eventually your body will have to come back up to maintenance level just to get everything centered back out. Um, like your body is not a robot. Like it will adapt to things and it has to be changing and you have to be dynamic with what you're doing. So going on these diet breaks 
can actually be very beneficial. You know, it can help satiate your hunger um, so you don't go completely insane. <laughs> Um, but it can also just help with, and like I said previously, it can also help with your hormones and just kind of get you more mentally prepared to go back into a deficit and you don't feel like you're dieting as much. And I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Again, I haven't heard back from my coach just yet, but I have a feeling that we're going to be bringing food back up for a few days um, just because I still have 13 weeks and... The way that my cardio is set up now, I'm doing two hit sessions a week along with four uh, list sessions, 35 minutes, four times a week. So cardio is, it's at a decent level right now. Um, it's nothing like too strenuous. It's nothing I can't handle because I am willing to put in that work. But again, we have to take a step back and look at things like, so I think what we're going to be doing is taking a little bit of a diet break. For a few days again this is nothing long term because again we still want to keep the ball rolling with my deficit because we got a show to do but um yeah when i hear back from him i'll let you guys know what's going on but as of right now i'm gonna pretend it's not raining and try to walk to class and then just see how the rest of my day goes like i said i don't really know where this video is taking me today i'm just kind of winging it sorry guys um i kind of got busy the other day but it is now the following day and the reason why I didn't finish recording the previous day is because nothing really changed so we decided to do um, the diet break that I was talking about but it's only gonna be for two days so he is giving me some extra carbs it's nothing crazy I think it's an extra like 80 grams of carbs which is it's expected because I'm not lean enough where I need like 200 grams of carbs like, I'm just not at that point yet, so I'm kind of still in the process of waking up. Um, but what he said is we're going to be adding the 80 grams of carbs both today and tomorrow. Um, so not like a full week. It's literally just two days. So we'll see how my body responds to that. And then what he also said, um, <laughs> he, he dropped cardio for two days, which I'm fine with. Like, no complaints there not a huge cardio person no big deal but he also said I needed to drop my intensity down in my training and that is probably something I struggle with the most if you don't know I write my own training for my prep and I like the training aspect of it I just absolutely love because I can customize it to myself um, just kind of go with the flow I mean I still write out a plan but I have control over what exercises I want to do how many reps, how many, um, pretty much just like the overall volume of my training. And he actually wanted me to back that down for like two days. And well, actually three technically. It was yesterday and today because Sunday's my off day. And I kept trying to push saying, you know, like I can, I'll be okay with extra food and still intensity the same. And he was like, no, you just need to chill, take a break. And we'll like we'll reassess things and see how my body responds. So I'll just I'll check in with you tomorrow, and if he has anything more to say, I'll let you know. But as of right now, we're gonna take a small diet break and see what happens from there. So I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna go to the gym, and I also got this cute little top. It has I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of hard to see. But they're pineapples and. And I've been looking for something tropical because I love, I love tropical stuff. So on that note, I'm going to head to the gym, get it out of the way, and then enjoy the rest of my carbs for these next two days before they get taken away. <laughs> so I'll check in with you guys again tomorrow. We're back. It is now Sunday. I think the last time I saw you guys was yesterday on Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. So I'm kind of in the process of getting ready to leave for church because it is Easter and I go more than twice a year. But I I stepped on the scale this morning and originally I had thought that my weight would spike because I just have more food and I wasn't doing any cardio. Intensity of my training was down a little bit, but I actually woke up at 156.4, which is good because that means my body was res is responding well to this refeed. I can't even get my words out. Um, Yesterday, I woke up at 158.0, like right on the dot, and then today I woke up at 156.4. So my body is responding well, and 
that's good. That means that my body really did need this small break. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, so you get something out of this video. If you are pushing through your diet, pushing through your deficit, putting in everything you can through your exercises and your nutrition, and you're still not seeing changes or you feel like you're stalling, your body just might need a break. You know, give it some time to rest for a little bit and then jump right back into things. You're not going to you're not going to do yourself any good if you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and your body's just not responding. I think the best way to go about a deficit or just making progress in general is to make sure you have a responsive body. If your body isn't responding, you're just, it's not going to work out well for you. So I think this is where I'm going to close out the video. If you want me to do another follow-up video or maybe do a little bit more talk about diet breaks, just let me know in the comments or just go ahead and hit the like button. And thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next video.